All right, we have a special one today. A man who has been all over your social media feed if you are in the Philadelphia area. We have well, I call I, I called you the Mets scumbag in the uh in, in the post, and I kind of feel bad now, but I'll call you a Mets fan. Um if I do refer to you as Mets scumbag, don't take it, you know, as a bad thing. Don't hold it against me. But we have the guy who got his phone launched into left field. Uh, has no, joined us today. It was so that all right. There you go. You say it's not launched. This is what me and Gary wanted to know the most. How far did that phone go? Did it make it to the outfield grass, or was it on the warning track? No, honestly, I don't really know. I was kind of just doing a bit there. Um, he, I, I didn't even see where it went. I just saw that he threw it towards the field, and uh, it was gone. How far it did it go? I, did, I didn't see where it landed. I just I knew he threw it towards the field, and we were close enough to where like there. There was no way it wasn't landing on the field. I'm sure. I think it went past the warning track at least. Okay, this okay. guy's kind of because the phone is undamaged, so it had to hit grass, all right? Okay, so you're calling us on a phone. I'm guessing this is the phone that was thrown. Oh yeah, this is the phone right here. Do you feel like this phone now has like an appreciated value because it's touched, you know, major league turf? You know what? I didn't think about it like that, but uh, you like you could probably phone. profit off it. Like you could make an NFT and then sell the phone. Right. Not 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 just because it was on the field, but because of the whole. Yeah, you know the zeitgeist of the incident. Mm -hmm. That was dirt that Kyle Schwarber and Nick Cassianos touched. Oh yeah. Um, so walk us through, you know, kind of what what led up to it. So I think anyone, everyone wants to know because there's always like there's a video, but then there's always like ten minutes, twenty minutes, an hour before. Give us a little context. Walk us through what happened leading up to it. Okay, so uh, I wasn't really like filming the crowd or any particular fans, you know, leading up to this. I was just standing up and cheering for the Mets, you know, like heckling the Phillies when they're in the field a little bit, but, you know, just having fun. Uh, and then this guy was heckling me a bit, you know, and I figured he was just having fun too. And uh, we were heckling back and forth. And, you know, I, I, it was all, like I keep saying, good fun for me. Um, and then, so as Edwin Diaz is coming in fit to finish off the game. Mm -hmm. uh, slider. Right. What's that? Elite slider. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I was like, all right, so I'm going to film this guy's reaction as we, you know, Lock it down. And uh, yeah, so got the final strikeout. And I was like, yeah, I walked over and put my phone in his face, which I'll admit, you know, that's nobody would like that happening to them. But it was heat of the moment for me doing that just as much as it was heat of the moment for him throwing my phone around the field. How much alcohol did you drink? Uh, not that much. Not that much. Would you say you were over the legal limit? All right, like one of those Bud Light seltzer or tall cans, if you consider that. I, okay. I'm, I'm, no, I'm just wondering. Guy, so maybe. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to figure drunk. it out because if you were drunk, I mean, it takes a couple points off the, the, the craziness factor. No, I mean, I was just – I wasn't – That's just part of it. Yeah. yeah. But you understand kind of like you, you probably got the second best reaction in that event that you could have gotten, one being you guys just jaw – and then breaks it up Two, obviously what happened, your phone gets launched into the outfield. And then three, you have a face through, you have a fist through your, through your phone. Like you, you can agree with that, that like, that was probably. Yeah. I would say nine, nine times out of 10, you're getting a fist to the face on that one. Yeah. Look, I'm a Mets fan too. I've been to a bunch of Phillies Mets games. I'm just saying, I, I've just seen enough where I feel like if you do that nine more times, you're probably getting fist to the face. Yeah, you know, I, uh, like I said, definitely a little bit overboard putting the phone in his face. But, uh, I mean, what was the question you initially asked? Sorry. Not really a question. Kind of just it was the best. It was probably you, the second best oh, case like the best, yeah, the, the outcome. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting necessarily. Probably that wasn't on the bottom of the list. But, I mean, <laughs> I, mean, hit, I, mean I wasn't, I wasn't going to hit anyone back. Like, I wasn't there to fight anybody. I yeah. got shoved by a couple of people after that. And like, I saw I tried that. To, I tried to hug one of them because I was like, seriously, wasn't trying to get violent whatsoever. Like, I was having fun. I, went I don't a little, know. I've been a little I, bit over, like, overboard I, with how cocky I was, but I, I was did just see, having fun. I did see the proposed hug. It looked more of like a bump and bellies more than, than in a hug. Yeah. But I oh, guess that was, maybe... that was, but that was initially. I don't know what happened there. I, think, I, got, uh, I, I don't think I meant to do that. Uh, but after, like, I got shoved after whatever that was. And then I went in and I was like, come on, bring it in. Like, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't <laughs> yeah. trying to fight anybody. You didn't give him a hug it out, bitch. 
No, I didn't. I didn't say okay. that. Exactly. Let, <laughs> let me ask you this question. Your friends stood idly by and basically did nothing. Yeah. Those were no, those were just some Mets fans that came and okay. sat there next to me. I went to that game alone. Oh, okay. We nor- yeah, we're normalizing going to games alone. So, like, nope. I think you should go to games alone. Like, that's perfectly fine. I don't think you should get up in the middle of the game, run up 10 steps, put your phone in some guy's face when you're there alone with no back. Yeah. That's, and that guy looked like he had an entire section of his. Yeah. Right. Well, I, uh, I was only at this game alone because I had been to three games prior, two in D.C., one, one in Philly the prior night, which is also an important factor. I was at that game when we lost the lead in the eighth, mm-hmm. uh, the 4 nothing lead, and – you don't think they were letting me have it that night? No, oh, no, they absolutely were. were I'll you... admit, no one put their phone in my face. But were but... you filming fans in that one? Look, I mean, look, that's it's a Phillies Mets game. If whoever wins, someone's going to get a, a shit talk to them. But like, you kind of have, you know, that comes with the territory. You know, the second you put that jersey in and walk into an opposing stadium, especially if it's in Philadelphia, I'll put Boston, New York, and even Chicago in that south in that tier. You're going to get shit. Yeah, well, no one hit me or anything. You know, all those no, that's fair. Who... And, no, uh, I'm glad I, I, get I, I, I've lived in Philly for the better part of like the last decade. I went, I went to Temple, and uh, oh. I live here now. So, oh yeah. yeah, it's Temple Basketball School. Yep. Okay. It is. I don't know, I'm to... honestly a baseball purist, so okay. I, I couldn't tell you that much. So you okay. you hate the shift ban? Well, the baseball uh, team. No. Okay. No, I don't. I don't mean baseball purist in that way. I mean like I literally like only watch baseball. Okay. That's no fair. other sports. But yeah. really. Well, the Temple I'm, Baseball I'm Team's program got cut in like 2012. So sorry about that. What was it? Oh yeah, they did. That's right. That was when yeah. I like. Yeah, that was when I first got to Temple. Would would you have pressed charges? For what? If he hit me? No, no, no. Like, like I, I destruction of property. Like, that's probably the only one you had. Would I have? Well, I didn't, and I don't plan to because my phone's not damaged. Right, okay. I mean, I mean maybe just, you know, there might be some damage to the microchip or whatever, you know. Who knows? But uh, it's working fine. Yeah, I was just no thinking, like, heat of the moment. You know, it seemed like, you know, security guards were on you. Security guards were, well, not on him because he, he booked it and ran. He um did. What do you think about that? The fact that he, he booked it and ran. I mean, I don't really want to speak to to that too much. That doesn't. I don't think it. That's a good look. But hmm. you know, there wasn't a lot of great looks that night. No, and there and there wasn't. And like, if you if you saw him again, or, or or you guys like ran into each other on the street, or you talked to him, like, what would it? What would it? What yeah, would like it I like I said to, to Kevin earlier, I would just I would I would laugh about it, and you know, and be friendly about it. I would hope he would do the same. Uh, mm-hmm. because I feel like I'm not, I'm like at the end of the day, I'm never going to going to get all hype like that and get in someone's face, like outside of a, a situation where it's sports and yeah. like, you know, we're at a stadium and like, you know, it's, it was, it was, it was just a good time. Yeah. So like, all right, this, this isn't, um, you know, necessarily like an ambush. Um, but like, it's kind of like a Jerry Springer moment. Like let's bring him out. Like the guy who launched the phone, he's known as the launcher. He's actually backstage for like the last five minutes. We didn't know he was going to come on until his buddy DM'd me like 10, okay. 15 minutes ago. So I'm going to bring the launcher on. Bring the launcher on. All right. All right. Give me one Here second. Here we go. This is going to be unreal. Is this a launcher? What's up, boys? Uh, how, how are you? How are you? He's only on audio. He doesn't want to. Yeah. Well, no, he can't see your face. Uh, I hit the. All right. I'll leave and come back. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay. Technical it's difficulties thing this isn't recorded. Boys so I hope you don't think this is an ambush. No, we it's not. Need to ambush you. I will. I'll actually say this. I think. I think so far, and I think we're going to get to the resolution. I think both of you guys are. Well, we haven't heard anything from the launch. I think you're handling this pretty well. I think you're owning up to the fact that you you did something you probably shouldn't have done. You also were caught up in the heat of the moment. You admitted you weren't drinking, and you admitted that you know it's all in fun games. The one thing I admire is that you do have a passion for your team, and you went and you rooted for it in imposing territory. That's fine. And I also think you know you just stepped over the line a little bit when you shoved it in his face. I think if you had stayed down there and just continued drawing, it would have just dispersed and all of it went away. You just kind of took it to the next level. Although I do think you've done a very good job of handling yourself on this. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, like, I don't I think you're a bad guy at all. I think you, you just love baseball. I do. I do. And the New York Mets. <clears throat> you've... I, I think it's kind of crazy to go to to a, a baseball game by yourself and then just put so, put your phone in someone's face. I'm sorry, that's me. Well, no, it's, I like you though, but dude, with Silor dealing like he was, I was amped up. <laughs> he was dealing. He's dealing, dude. He's oh, still wait, 98, 99. Here's a question: While we wait for the launcher to come back, when when they had two guys on base and it looked like there was a very good possibility that this game could be blown, were you now nervous that you were about to absolutely get roasted two nights in a row? Oh, because, yeah, like, listen, uh, I, I went to bed. I have a, I have a ten month old. I went to bed at nine fifteen. I didn't watch the comeback happen, so I just got to wake up and be like, "This su- that sucked." 
but I didn't have to get the initial heat because obviously I host a Philadelphia sports podcast being a Mets fan. I get, I get a lot of shit right away, but were you just like deadly nervous that you were going to get it two days in a row? Wasn't deadly nervous. I got a little nervous when there was a couple guys on. I think what well, there was a, uh... One was like a, there was a double one, then like an infield hit, or there was an infield hit and something. Yeah, else. and, and then, then I stopped. I was nervous, but uh, I just I, I had I committed at that point to. I hear you. Yeah, no, you you were committed. You were definitely committed. I did. We have the did. launcher back. We got the right. launcher back. The right. launcher right. is right. back. So let's oh, bring on the launcher. Yeah. Okay. All so right. here we go. The second time, boys. How are you the second doing? Second time you guys are meeting. Um, launcher, meet Met Scumbag. Met Scumbag, <laughs> meet the launcher. You um, wouldn't even say that. Uh, now you now now launcher you've been sitting back there for five minutes you kind of heard everything yeah um, so what do you, what hold do you on a sec it? hold on a sec is this your first phone you've tossed um i believe so yeah okay because you did it very well it, yeah it, looks, it, was, so. it seemed very natural yeah no, um, i played baseball back in the day so uh, we could tell we heard the yeah. the phone got to the grass so yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah i mean you have um, interest in playing for the phillies so, maybe. so launcher yeah. is there is there anything i'll let you have the floor uh, that you want to talk to, to, to Mets fan. We could just, I was just, I was listening. Uh, what he didn't tell you was Uh-oh. he did the same thing every single out of that inning pretty much. So what the film in you? Yeah. So I there started was, doing that after we had the heckling going back and forth. Yeah, no, no. So there, there was the phone in the face after every single out and there was a warning in the know. face? I never got up out of my seat. No, I that. know. I under, you didn't. You didn't get out. You didn't run up in my face like you did there. But you were, you know, obviously. He would turn around and film you. He, you he's you not running film. up fifteen steps to get in your face. Yeah, no, you weren't doing that. But there's that would be even a wilder move because if there's one out oh. and you're getting in this guy's face, that's yeah, that's yeah. even wilder. That'd be putting my eggs. would be a madman. Come on. Yeah, and there was a warning that if that happened again, your phone was getting launched in the left field. I don't know if you remember that one. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I, <laughs> oh, know, no, I, I, I heard that. So wow. this was premeditated toss. I love this. Oh, yeah, it was premeditated. How I long were you thinking was... about tossing his phone? Oh no, I it was. Uh, I believe it was bottom of the ninth after the first okay. out. After seeing, you know, this from about yeah. a couple rows over. Yeah. And there was a. There was a. You do that again, motherfucker. Your uh-huh. phone's going in left field. I'm and, sure you didn't hear it. We were probably there was noise in the stadium, but yeah, I was it, was, the game. it was sad. Uh, launcher, was that your whole section of a family? Because it looked like you were rolling uh, squad deep. No, that, was, that was my buddies. That wasn't me. Uh, that's your buddies. Yeah. What's the connection to the guy whose arm was in a cast? Who put you in a headlock? Oh, who no was that? Connection, no connection. That that guy. I'm, stooge. I don't know that guy Absolute either. I have no stooge. idea who that guy is. That exactly guy, right. one, that guy was massive. And I look, I feel like you could be a scrappy guy. That guy kills you. He was massive. Oh, oh. And well, I'm just, just telling you, he yeah, bear trapped you real quick. But you also had that old lady security guard that was really trying to lock you down too. So, Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I she was, yeah. Sorry. Uh, bucket hat guy. Friend? Oh yeah, that's, that was yeah, that was my friend. That was his. That's second. a guy you keep in your friend group until yeah. the day you go in the ground. Okay. Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, what what you didn't see was the part of him. Yo, after my family leaves, we're fucking this guy up. Oh, jeez. That, okay. Yeah. So okay. So it could have so, got so it yeah. could have got so a little it, ugly. I best best case scenario happened. Well, second best. Second best I wasn't looking you, to get violent yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. That's really taking it to the next level. Um, oh, I know. I mean, yeah, I was not looking to fight anybody. So, yeah, well, I mean, come, you, come phone, you come into the CBP, you come into CBP and you start speaking like you did. I mean, it's, it's, you're asking for it. You well, found the right group of people. You're lucky. Hmm. Okay. Do you, do you feel I like mean, you I'm found not, the right, right group of people? You. I'd never, I'd never hit someone, but. So it never – well, now, hold on a second. You just said you were going to fu- – well, I didn't say no, – you didn't just say you were going to fuck him up. There was conversation of going to fuck him up. Now, conversations good, re- being good restraint because, listen, when he came up and put it directly in your face, we said to him earlier, you could have just one-timed him right there. He was completely defenseless. It was, a good, it, was a, it was a good call out of you not to hit him because you know what's happened if you hit him. You're not talking to us right now. If you are, you're wearing a yellow jumpsuit oh, or an orange like, jumpsuit. He's, he's that's exactly right what right I'm now. saying here. If anyone yeah. tries to hit me, like I'm not going to fight back, and then who's going to look bad? Well, it was also tough. You had the low ground. You know, oh, next look, time well, you I go to 
yeah, next time you go to put your, your phone in someone's face, make sure you're above them. Because mm-hmm. if you stadium the- etiquette fighting 101, always be the man on the high ground. You want to be the guy up top. Because if you hit him, he goes down multiple stairs. They're worried about him. You're gone. The guy who hits him is gone. You're out. Just like you did. What, what was the idea of getting out of there? You Because you took off. Yeah. Oh, it was a uh, smart I move mean, to take off, but you did. moment that thing left my hand, it was, oh, shit. <laughs> Got to get out of here. You realize so, uh, yeah. I mean, man, he tried putting the headlock around me. hit the little boom, boom, gone. Yeah, yeah, I saw the move to get gone. out of there. But that, that guy was a bear. Uh, you're he, lucky because that guy seemed like he was just angry for some reason. Yeah, he had one arm, though. That's oh, true. Okay, the so one it arm, was one arm. arm. Yes. Well, was it broken or was it a prosthetic? Uh, I think it was broken. I hope okay. it was too. Okay. Yeah, I hope it was a too. Club. It's a little bit more dangerous. He has a club. Yeah. Oh, I know. He, he's, yeah, no. If it's broken. Where, where did you um, launch her? Where did you go? Did you just did you just book it to the first exit? Oh, I was. I didn't break stride. I ran a ten two to NRG Stadium <laughs> or NRG Station. You were scared. <laughs> you were out. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, hey. I'm just busting your balls. I'm no, no. Balls. Were you scared? Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I was scared. I was a little bit worried security was going to find me, but I mean, I, I was at NRG Station, found my way home. Are, have yeah. you been banned from the stadium? Have they gotten in touch with you? No, they haven't. They are probably are. Nervous, this, honestly. I was going to say, are you nervous with this, with your face being on this? They're going to reach out to you. Um, I mean, hey. You know, maybe next time I go to a Phillies game, I'll have a mustache and a beard. And- That's so fair. Franny Lydon, here's a question for you. Now, there, we see these people go down in folklore. The lady who turns around and said, fuck you, at the Eagles game. And then the, 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 the dean of admissions at Penn, who was screaming his face off. And then we had the Go Birds kid right in the face of the Vikings fan. Do you think you're now entering that territory of legendary fan? Because I mean, according to Barstool Philly, I'm in the, the Philly Fan Hall of Fame. Okay, wow. I mean, listen. I, mean, is I think, that listen. A voting process. We get a we listen. Oh, no. Philadelphia fans, and I'm half and half. Like we we do get a reputation of being a little bit of a scumbag. We're calling the Mets fans scumbag. Let's be let's call spades spades. Scumbags, fans are, scumbags too. We're fine. Are we scumbags or are we doing our civil duty? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Is is there any like I don't know? Is there a need for an apology from like yeah, either you? of you? Like, or is it um, kind of just like, hey, listen, this is just kind of dust in the wind. I think. Do, here's a is. question. Here's a question. We're going to do this. Mets fan, do you want to apologize for putting his phone, your phone in his face? Um, yeah, I'll apologize and say I know I went over the line, but with the contingency that I think the same deserves to be said to me. I think I we can both say agree that. Now, launcher, that we, both crossed, we, we got a little out of hand. Now, Launcher, do, would you also like to say, sorry, I launched your phone onto CBP? Um, no, I would not. <laughs> okay. <Mets. laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. This is all I mean, class. This is well, all class. All class. We'll, we'll catch you in October, I guess. I don't well, know. I mean, they're back here in May. Are you going to be at the are you, Mets fan? Are you going to be at the series come May? I'm going to every Mets game here. Okay. Oh, I will. Not. Let me tell you right now. I will be in the stadium for this the game on the sixth and the game on the seventh. Kyle will be abroad. If you guys are there, I will buy you each a beer as long as you're both of age. You look. The launcher looks like he might be underage. Uh, no, I'm of age. Okay, perfect. You got beers on me on the sixth and seventh. I got you each a beer. Awesome. I will I will find you and I will buy you both a beer because this is only this is electric. This yeah, is no, it's good. awesome. I mean, I probably won't be in the stadium come May. Probably okay. Gonna, okay. You know, trying to well, avoid, the, avoid the authorities for a little okay. on the run right now. Yeah. Oh come on, they're not gonna they're not gonna give you that hard of a time. No, I mean I'm technically not allowed. I mean, in, in my field, opinion, so. the Phillies should give me season tickets for what I did, <laughs> but I, I think they disagree. I think they disagree with that statement. Yeah. I like how this is opposite uh, ends of the spectrum. These right. two. Oh, I'm going to give him one more chance. Mets fan, do you want to retract your apology now that he just <laughs> refuses to apologize? I'm going to give you that chance. No, I'm just going to take the high road and okay. say, I'll, I'll let him speak what he wants to say. I love, and, I love this. Hey. This is all class versus no class. I love this. Hey, sometimes the high road loses. What <laughs> nice guys finish last. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're we're yeah, kind of on the end too. Gary's a Mets fan. I'm a Phil. Yeah, fan, I'm a Mets so like, fan. So yeah, I mean, it's, right this, on the is, this is all um, funny. Hey, uh, b- before we go, um, once again, not an ambush, but uh, we got one more guy coming in. Um, <laughs> oh, not not. Dude, I, I want to say not an ambush. Definitely not an ambush. Um, uh, is it? This is the, oh, this is the dickhead guy. What's oh, up, okay. Okay. guy? Dude, what's up, you, dickhead? You're my hero. <laughs> you're my hero. Now listen, I was going to apologize. <laughs> after hearing the launcher, no. After hearing the launcher speak 
sanely, I take, I'm not going to apologize. Oh, You're a jerk geez. off and a dickhead, and you deserve everything that happened oh, to you. Oh, man. And All you right. know what? Throwing your phone on the field is nothing because it landed on soft turf. You should be thanking this guy. Because exactly. he's I'm an MMA complaining. expert. He should have killed you. If this it's was the you'd be head. dead. Who complained dead. about me? Hey, listen, this, man. I don't know why that made this is the nail. to apologize. Boom, hit it right on the head. Yeah. That, this did I'm not go, go. I'm gonna go to every game in the series. You're not gonna. You're not gonna act that way ever again, are you? Yeah, you I mean, learned. you learned, didn't you? Say we'll it. have to see. We'll have to see. I guess. I, I oh, come on. I'm not fighting anybody. You learned. I'm not come fighting on, anybody. I said that earlier. I don't want to fight anybody. Thank you, Launcher. You're a hero. I, I love you. All right, Captain. All right, Captain, do you want to say anything mean to me before you go? Because I'm also a Mets fan, so you can be mean to me real quick. No, you're you're awesome. I love you. God bless ah, you. God I bless America. That. I right. just don't like dickheads. Ah, I, wait till I get a couple of drinks in me. That's fair. All right, look, guys, Mets fan, I feel like you got piled on, but the, you, I think you kind of knew what you got into coming on a Philadelphia sports podcast. Not an so ambush. I think it's not all fair, ambush. right? Not an ambush. Not an, it was not not an not ambush. A, Philly captain said, before he got on, I wanted to apologize to him. And then he heard yeah. Exhibit yeah, A, and he heard Exhibit that's B, a, and he heard the defense. That's a reason to decide not to apologize. Yeah. Well, and he heard the plaintiff, and he made his, and he made his call. Yeah. And you got to you know, respect that. But I respect you, Met Scumbag. I, re- I respect you for coming on. The, and the taking glove that. didn't fit. What else is there to say? <laughs> All right. We might have to kick the launcher out because all he's doing is dropping dimes <laughs> and it's fantastic. So we're going to say bye to the launcher. Thank Play you very launcher. much for coming on. All right. right, let's. We'll wrap this up. I Look, I think you handled it very well. Yeah. I think you, you you came on a Philadelphia sports podcast. It, I tried to defend you. I really did. I don't think – I think what you, I think when you put the phone in this face, it was wrong. I think you owned up to it like a man. I would say you and Alec Boehm, put them on the Mount Rushmore's of apologizing for when you did something wrong and taking the high road. So wow. you and Alec Bohm are are two peas in the pod right now. I'll take that. Please, if you come in May, bring a friend. I no, will. He has Please. a friend. I have I have me. Mets fan. I have Mets fans who we're all going to May. Don't worry. He has okay. a friend. It'll be me. We'll make sure none of this happens hey. again. If it does, I'll make sure my camera's out too, and I'll just I'll catch it again. I talked to the launcher before this. I thought he was going to apologize. Yeah. We did not expect that coming. No. Although as soon as I saw his face, I knew it wasn't. Yeah, that's his, that <laughs> is true. He, he came on. He came on with the shit and green on with, his face. With the violence on his mind. Yeah. I mean, look, it's that's this is sports, baby. If this, has, nah, yeah. If, if this was the other way around, fun, it would all be good. But let me tell you something. Again, I think you handled it well, and I, I'm proud to call you a Mets fan for coming on. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, proud buddy. to be a Mets fan. Have a good one. World Series, we're coming. I, I couldn't have gone any better. Holy shit! That could when when the captain came on and would keep running this because when the captain came yeah. on, that was that I mean, was I, all time. I was gonna make a joke, being like, "Look at us, broker in peace, send us out to the Gaza Strip." <laughs> nope. I think we just made it worse. <laughs> I think we did. I think Palestine is just is just bombing the shit out of Israel right now. Yeah, all right. way around. <laughs> was... What you did you th- I uh, once? But you're, you you said it exactly look... right once. The launcher came on. Yeah, I was like, "Oh shit!" Because we all know a guy who looks like the launcher. Let me tell you. So, oh, look, I've had like six or seven launchers on my lacrosse team. That guy, I, the, it was literally the second his face showed up. I'm like, "This guy's not going to apologize." I could tell. He he knew what he did was funny. He knew what he did is always going to go down in the folklore of Philadelphia. The guy's a legend in his own right. Um, I didn't expect the captain to just turn hill and call yeah. him a dickhead again. The captain let me down, but you I, know what? I actually vetted the captain. Like, yeah. I vetted him. I didn't yeah. vet at the launcher. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I think the, we've we've interviewed some pretty cool people. Colleen Wolf, Alex Singleton, Zach Berman, Dan Gallen. We've interviewed all these great people. <laughs> that was the most fun I've ever had interviewing somebody. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. That's the podcast. I cannot wait till May. I really can't. I'm going to buy that kid a, a, at least five beers. Uh, a, a crazy person move to go by yourself and then get in someone's face. Yeah. And listen, I, you could tell he, uh, I don't think he enjoyed being called crazy on that point because uh, all I'm saying is it's just a, it's an interesting life decision to go by yourself and then get in like a pseudo altercation. 
Mm-hmm. No, I agree 100. percent Because those two Mets fans that were just sitting with him, they had, they did not have his back. They want no. zero smoke, and the one guy was filming. So now I was like, yeah. Also, if I was like, oh, I'm gonna go sit with this guy and watch him heckle people. As soon as he went for a flight, I'd be like, fuck that, I'm out of here. You might even <laughs> see me pull a Phillies hat out of my back pocket and be like, okay, bye. Oh my god! All right, close this fucking thing up. All right. Well, that was a very special edition of the Water Boys podcast. That'll be gracing your ears. I hope. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as Kyle and I did. I feel like I need a cigarette after that. That was just great. So thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Water Boys, the special edition of the Water Boys podcast presented by Crossing Broad. We'll talk to you next week. 